Hey everybody, what's up? So, back with some information relating to my Dell Latitude E6420 laptop. So, when I bought this laptop off eBay for just $100 plus $15 shipping, $115 shipping, um, the uh, backlit keyboard was working. So you can see down here that the backlit keyboard is on. It was working, but it would only turn on if I push the key and then it would only stay on for five seconds after um, the last key press, which was really irritating to me because um, backlit keyboards actually really help me type. Um, it kind of gives me like a visual boundary of the keys because I can type I guess probably fairly decently You know, I'm not a great typer. So I do um, look at the keys uh, And the screen kind of like back and forth kind of simultaneously while I'm typing so back the keyboard actually really does help my um, typing performance so I started looking into how I can adjust the uh, the backlit um, settings and I found out that I didn't have any software installed um, to control um, the backlit key settings. So I went online and I started uh, searching around and I found out that um, Dell had uh, released some software called Dell Control Point Systems Manager. You can see it right here. Um, and at least in Windows 7, it looks like they made it for Windows Vista as well. I'm not quite sure. This is a Windows 7 laptop. Probably going to switch that up at some point, but right now it's Windows 7. Um, at least in Windows 7, you need this software installed, the Dell Control Point Systems Manager, um, so that you can control the, uh, the backlit um, key settings. And I actually went through like a number of these like I installed and uninstalled you know rebooted um, many different versions of Dell control point you can see that this one right here is actually designed for um, the bias a19 so this laptop came with bias version a21 so you know I went through a lot of these I eventually finally found um, a version for BIOS A21 right here on this website delldriverdownload.net slash latitude E64 100 blah 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 XFR so where is that version it's right here control point application Dell control point systems manager for BIOS A21 so I ended up finally downloading this one and installing this one, um, but it still it still wasn't working, guys. Um, so when you install Dell Control Point, it shows up in your Start menu under System and Devices Manager right here. So if it doesn't show up in the Start menu, you can just search for it here, System and Devices Manager, and it comes up like this, and it. Um, it's like some software that allows you to kind of mess with display settings, keyboard hotkeys, which are keyboard shortcuts, the keyboard backlight, and so forth. So, you know, I installed so many versions, like like I mentioned, and um, I just couldn't get it to work. I couldn't, you know, it was missing, the software was missing buttons, missing things I could push, you know, etc. Just uh, nothing was working right. The keyboard shortcuts to control the... Uh, you know, like key brightness and um, and uh, to turn the brightness on and off, etc., um, just wouldn't work. So after I downloaded um, the A21 version, where's that A21 version again? Right here. After I downloaded this version. I just went ahead and um, resorted to updating the bias. So 
if we go right here to system information I can show you I updated to the last um, bias update which is um, A24 and it was last updated on um, May 12th of 2017 so you can see it right here after I updated from A21 to A24 Dell control point version A21 for bias A21 um, begin to work and when I bring up system and devices manager which is you know which is what you get when you install Dell control point systems manager um, this immediately begin to work the keyboard shortcut for brightness control begin to work um, etc now let me uh, mention that with Dell control point for bias A21 your only options are for the keys to stay on for five seconds 15 30 one minute or five minutes after the last keystroke so for me five minutes after the last keystroke is cool because um, making observations regarding my typing habits um, a lot of times you know I'll type a sentence or two and then I'll pause and I'll think for um, more than five seconds um, before I start typing again and it, it was just really irritating to me that um, the keys would go off after five seconds five minutes is good enough for me I have absolutely no problem with the keys turning off after five minutes of no typing because when I'm typing something you know I don't often um, wait for, for five minutes um, between sentences you know I would never get anything done right but just FYI just FYI let me show you this one this is Dell control point systems manager um, for Vista and Windows there's so many different versions of this guys 64-bit um, operating system you have to make sure that you know your bits are right you have the right operating system etc this is Dell control point systems manager for bias a19 and I believe when I found this I actually found it for like the like rugged construction site manager version of the E6400 I think they call it the XFR um, this uh, Dell control point systems manager version right here actually fixes supposedly the uh, backlight always on feature what was interesting is with bias version A21 when I installed this control point systems manager when I went to systems and devices manager and went to keyboard backlight there was an extra button right here that said always on so you could just click that and supposedly the keys were supposed to stay always on but what would happen was the keys would um, the keyboard backlight would turn on for five minutes when I pushed you know turn on but after five minutes it would turn back off the keyboard shortcuts for control of that um, feature did not work and I would have to go back to the start menu go back into systems and devices manager go back to keyboard backlight click always on to keep it on so I've updated my bias you know I'm not in bias version 821 anymore I'm in version um, a21 now so you know I'm satisfied with the function of the keyboard backlight right now when I touch the keys it turns on for five minutes and the keyboard shortcuts work so I'm satisfied with the performance but if you want to try to get the uh, the always on feature you might try um, this Dell control point systems manager version and uh, you might try it with different um, bias it didn't work properly with bias a21 maybe if you went back to um, bias a19 and installed this one it would work now I'm actually happy that I have the latest bias version um, which again was updated on May 12th of this year and I'm happy that I have a version of Dell po control point systems manager again comes up as systems and devices manager in the start menu um, that that works um, according to uh, according to my needs but yeah that's pretty much it so if uh, if you uh, are satisfied with this solution then I um, recommend updating to uh, bias version um, A24 and trying um, this uh, 
this download right here for Control Point, which is not on the Dell website. I'm sure you can find it somewhere on the Dell website, but I wasn't able to find it. This one was actually kind of hard to find for some reason. Yeah, so again, it's DellDriverDownload.net, and it's um, Control Point, and it's for uh, BIOS A21. And uh, yeah, you can see the keyboard backlight is on right now, and it's just staying on. And we'll stay on for five minutes. If it turns off, I just touch the key, it turns back on. And um, let me show you really quick that the uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts do work. So that's the screen, but the keys are right here. So that does actually affect the keys. So right now, the keys are off. They're turned off. And let me see, I'll turn them back on. So now it's on. 25, now it's on 50% brightness, 75, and that's 100% brightness. And there you go. There it is. There it is, guys. So good luck. Don't give up. And uh, just FYI, I did install Control Point A21 before I updated the BIOS, so I can't say whether or not um, that will. Uh, be uh, something that will be an issue for you but good luck and hopefully you can get that backlit keyboard working